Hi YouTube, I have another review for you today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Spyderco Roadie. There's the basic profile. The Spyderco Roadie was supposed to be designed to be able to be carried on a plane. They were going to make the restrictions of knives and blades a little less strict for being able to uh, be carried on a plane. So they released a little set of guidelines of what it might look like. And Spyderco decided they would use those guidelines to make their knife fit those guidelines. A knife that you'd be able to carry on a plane. But those guidelines never actually went through, so you still can't carry this on a plane. But they made it anyway, and it's still a really cool knife. There's a couple looks at it. It's a slip joint, so it's a non-locking knife. It has two sides, the handle scales that are FRN. They have the Spyderco logo. They have a little bit of texture to them, so they're not completely smooth, but they're pretty smooth. Jimping on the back of the blade and on the choil of the blade. Gives it really nice comfort. There's the blade, looks kind of like a sheep's foot blade, and a new opening mechanism. So instead of being a spider hole, they drilled a divot there, and I think sandblasted it, and then drilled a divot on the other side. So now you can pinch, get focused, you can pinch and open it really easy to open and it locks up really tight and it's kind of hard to close it you can easily do it if you put a lot of weight on it but if you just kind of try to grab it and close it it's got a really strong nice feel to it I think it's really cool for a uh, slip joint to feel that sturdy especially for such a small knife that can fit it's about the size of a a finger and as you can see each one of these squares is an inch so it's three inches long total the blade is one and a quarter it looks like or one and three quarters it looks like so under two inch blade three inch handle overall a little over five inches completely opened up so it's a really cool really small knife you could fit it a lot of places um, just in like your fifth fifth pocket on your jeans wouldn't really get in the way of anything because of how small it is made in Italy you can see right there is Sal Glesser's logo This side you got Spyderco N690CO steel, fairly good steel, sharpens easily, nice corrosive resistance and strong, pretty high quality steel for such a small, cheap knife. I definitely recommend checking these out, I haven't seen much about them, I haven't seen many people post them on uh, Instagram or anything, but I think they're really cool, they deserve a... Uh, they deserve a look at at least. I think you might like it. It might be a nice little utility blade if you don't want to get your nice blade all scratched up or something. Pull out this little cheap knife and do your cutting tasks that you might not want to do on an expensive knife. So I'd recommend it. I'd check it out if I were you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.